and I was not out here, and Paul and Storm were not out here, and no performers were out here, and what it sounded like to me, and I'm not saying this is what it is, I'm just saying this is what it sounded like, is that you guys were having fun of your own accord in some way that I am not aware of. This is not okay with me. I am in charge of the fun and the entertainment, and it is not you. I am the boss of you. I am your maritime master. There is no fun to be had when I am not on stage or what? No! Wait, watch this. That's the Death Star. It's the Death Star Beach Ball. That's pretty cool, actually. So you're, you're going to keep a handle on that, right? Because there's nothing better for a stand-up comedy show than a distracting beach ball. <laughs> Just as a matter of etiquette, please do not throw the beach ball around the audience while the, the, the comedy is happening. That's going to be... Unless for a question, in which case you absolutely should. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm, well, I'm sorry to come out yelling at the audience. I don't... I know that's not what you're supposed to do. We get older, we get grumpier, and it just sort of... it's late. It's Our late. kids are getting older, so we need somebody else to yell at. It's, it's 7.35, and I'm exhausted. It's, it's like 20 minutes past my bedtime, so I'm not... a little off my game. All right, it is time for morning announcements. First announcement is a correction. The Stargazing Shadow Cruise event that is happening this evening is happening not on the observation deck, which is an entire deck, <laughs> but on the sky deck, which is deck 11, all the way up above 10 forward, the crow's nest. That was my mistake, for which I apologize, but to be fair, we are using the sky deck for observation. <laughs> so if you get confused about whether it's the observation deck or the sky deck, just rem here's the mnemonic, just remember, we're observing the sky. The sky. <laughs> And actually, which can only be done. No. Third base. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. Uh, also, uh, even uh, even on the other nights, every night this week, whether or not there is any sort of official stargazing event happening, uh, from 10 p.m. on, they are turning the lights off on the sky deck. Feel free to go up and check out the stars. Be, uh, please note they are going to have a number of chairs out and it is very dark up there. Do not trip and fall into the sea having stepped on a chair errantly. It would be very difficult to do anyway because the, the wall's about 10 feet high, but I could not put it past the folks on this team. <laughs> It would be kind of a comedic thing to see. Yeah. At first, it would be yeah. comedic, and then... And bring, and bring your glow sticks. Bring your glow sticks. Because <laughs> yeah, nothing helps stargazing than a lot of light right near your eye. Uh, tomorrow is Cabo San Lucas. Those of you, once again, who have purchased shore excursions for Cabo, you should have received your tickets which include instructions as far as where and when you should meet uh, to join that group. If you have any questions or issues, please speak to the ship's short excursions desk. A note about those of you who have brought your console gaming systems in the hopes of playing them in your rooms. Turns out, <laughs> the tension in this room. Yeah. You wouldn't think this would involve a lengthy story, but... Uh, <laughs> It requires a special remote to change the input to uh, the HDMI input on the in-room TVs. When you turn your TV off, it resets to the old input. When your console goes into sleep mode, it resets to the old input. So it is essentially not a usable option. We apologize for that. However, there is, as we have said before, a screening room on deck three forward just outside that door over there. Uh, it is about a 40-seat screening room. It is set up with an HDMI connector, and there is a sign-up sheet for any time that uh, theater is not being used, like at 4.20 every day to show The Big Lebowski. 
you can sign up for a time block to bring your console and play or to watch other people play console games. So thanks once again uh, to Josh, our one of our tech gurus, for solving that problem. We would like to remind you that there is no uh, video or audio uh, recording of this event. Uh, sort of a standard thing with Stand Up. We thank you for your cooperation. Uh, turn things over to Coach Cruz. So you may have noticed uh, the very wide variety of foods on the ship, and pretty incredible, right? Among them, uh, there are a ton of vegetarian and vegan options. And uh, I sometimes call myself the world's worst vegetarian, which is to say I'm not really a vegetarian, uh, but I have been trying to eat a lot more vegetables uh, in my diet on the whole. So I'm asking you, those who wish, to along with me take the veg pledge. If that sounds appealing or interesting or you like repeating words, repeat after me. I state your name. We're not mad, just disappointed. Not mad, just disappointed. You don't have to repeat that. <laughs> this is great. I have a new toy. <laughs> I will explore the awesome veg options. I will explore the awesome veg options. To the extent of my interest. To the extent of my interest. Amen. 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 <laughs> and, uh, it's a very strict, ironclad pledge. <laughs> Nothing if not a purist. Not a lot of gray area there. That was essentially the pledge equivalent of a shrug. <laughs> With vegetables. <laughs> um, finally, because we are two days in to Joko Cruise 2018, it is time to sell you on Joko Cruise 2019. <laughs> Online booking for Joko Cruise 2019 has already been open, but we have an onboard booking option. I would please like to bring out to the stage the fourth member of management, Drew Westfall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bright hurts his eyes. We seldom let him out of the office. This is the closest to sunlight he sees for the most part. That's what you can tell by his pale salad right. banner. He's nervous, but he likes right. it. He likes it. The ceilings are so high. Yeah, yeah. It's like the sky deck. So, is this the stars? <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, for your purposes, yeah, let's say yes. Thank you, Jonathan. You're welcome, Drew. <laughs> so kind. So Drew spent countless hours developing this incredible, not online, analog sign-up form for Joko Cruise 2019 because the internet on this ship is not reliable. Um, are you doing me or the internet or the ship or Drew? That's just a woo. So we have this handy option that requires no internet whatsoever. It is a fairly self-explanatory sheet that will be delivered to all of your cabins this evening. And also, sign-ups are available here in the theater immediately following the show up on deck two. See, there's, they're waving a box and they're oh, dancing. They're dancing. <laughs> wow, they're very excited. That's yeah. enticing. That's enticing. It's a place As a reminder, for those of you who haven't heard us mention it 90 gazillion times on the internet, uh, Joko Cruise 2019 is happening March 9th through 16th. We're leaving out of Fort Lauderdale, or as autocorrect would have it, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> we're going to the Bahamas, Tortola, and San Juan, Puerto Rico. So you can uh, fill out the forms right here at the end of tonight's show, or you can take the forms uh, from your room and fill them out at your leisure. You can take them to the Joko Cruise info, mon info desk for the Helper Monkey Info Desk. I'm sorry, words are not my strong suit. Sky Deck. Uh, in, in, the, in the atrium. Sky Deck. Sky Deck. Yeah, take the Sky, sky Deck, sky. throw them off the, off the side of the ship. Whisper your wish to the winds. And the magical bird will take your booking away. Uh, no, you can take it to the info desk in the atrium on deck one. You can hand it either to the person that is there, or if it is not being manned, there will be a box that you can put it in. This uh, form requires no credit card numbers or anything, you're not sharing any sensitive information. Or take it to the Skydeck is also fine. Yeah. 
Don't take it to the sky deck. <laughs> this ends morning announcements. Uh, so our, our first comedian tonight uh, has a has a new album. It's called "I Am Not the Hero of the Story." It is available for sale in the store. Uh, she also has, uh, among other things, a podcast called the Dork Forest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Jackie Shin. 